Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we recruited our very first Swordmaster, Ulfert the Dog, who's got some pretty good stats, I think, except for his health and fatigue, which are kind of abysmal. Since he's pretty fragile, I think it might be best to just let him hang back and mooch off the experience points of his brothers, at least until we're confident that he's not going to drop dead at the mere sight of grass. As a matter of fact, maybe it's a good idea to just give him a polearm. That way we don't need to worry about his health much at all. Hmm... Definitely something to consider. Well, in any case, I think it's only appropriate that we rename Ulfer to... You guessed it. Transylvanian. Transylvanian? Death Teacher! He goes around the lands teaching people how to die! In style, but... Still, it's a lesson in death that they won't soon forget. Because they're dead. So I guess they do kind of forget. Whatever, it's fine. Ignore me. Okay, so let's uh, put some points into his fatigue. And we'll try to get his melee skill up to, I guess, I don't know, around 100-ish. And melee defense. Sure. Um, And I'll try to put some points into his health, into his health as well. His initiative is fairly decent, resolve maybe not so much, and I should also put some points into his ranged defense. So for our first perk, I think it might be best to give him recover. Yeah, eventually I'll try to give him a nimble and making him a light armored fighter, but until then, we'll just have to uh, be satisfied with that. Norman, we still need to find you a proper bow before I give you the um, bow mastery, and Herbert. Let's give you that bow mastery. There you go. Enjoy. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Did he level up and I completely didn't do his thing? Oops. And uh, range defense. Fantastic. And I should think about giving him some health points as well. Okay. So we ended things off after considering a couple of missions in Overstead. I'm actually not sure if I want to take any of them. But if I take any of them, I think it'll be the one to escort the caravan to Kaivater because... Um, the other one, I think will send it to Rottenbach. Now, I guess that kind of does give us the freedom to drop by anywhere we want. But I kind of want, want to end up in around this area anyway so that we can uh, farm some more brigand gear. Hmm. Yeah. That way, we won't also need to worry about the provisions either. And maybe if we drop by Heimstadt, we can probably pick up some food along the way. Okay, well, let's do it. Wait, should we sell anything here before we head off? Uh, Sell price isn't amazing. Oh, wait, since we're going to end up in Kaivater and uh, Newland, where the uh, sell price is fairly high, let's just not worry about that stuff. Okay, yeah. And I don't think I should recruit anyone else right now. Oh, wait, I should... Ah, shoot, I should have uh, changed um, Transylvanian and uh, Mediogre's looks. Oh, well, that's fine. So this is the mission to Kaivata, yes? Okay, well, hopefully we can tussle with some brigands and shit along the way. Alright, everyone, put on your uh, brigandar, which is, of course, the radar that we use to not detect brigands, but summon brigands. Immediately? Really? While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. By the wagon, there is a donkey standing idle and as defeated as a donkey can look. The trader looks a little better, better than that uh, and your appearance seems to have scared him. He rears up, backing away momentarily. Have you come to take my things? If so, you needn't kill me. Take what you want. Um... I think if we help him, we get some boost to our... Uh... Renown or whatever, right? Our reputation? Hmm... Well, we're not... Desperate for money, so I guess we'll help him out. You disarm the man from his fears, and also his fingers, by eating them, I guess, and order a few of the band of degenerates finest to get the wagon back on the road. They make short work of it, the trader looking rather impressed by their efficiency. With his wares back on the road, he offers a few tokens of gratitude right uh, off the wagon itself. These provisions will be useful in the days to come. Okay, I mean, I, I, I guess? Sure. 
Oh no, it's night time by the time we reach Heimstadt. Oh, our next ambition, I guess. Sitting and jesting with the men while they check their kit, hone their blades and mend their armor, your mind wandered off, wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the lands. What is your conclusion and what do you tell the men? Catch one of the eyes of the noble houses. Set out into the wilderness and plunder it. Uh, dozen opponents. No, let's go for the reputation with the noble houses or whatever. Fantastic. Reach professional renown. Wait, what? <laughs> really? Thinking to set tongues wagging with the name of the band of degenerates and thereby increase your prospects with the nobility, you pushed your men to great deeds, outstanding bravery and plentiful bloodshed. After several con contracts and more than a few skirmishes, you worked hard enough and long enough to have some of the lords take notice of the company's competence. These are the gentlefolk who ruled the land by virtue of some long dead ancestor subjugating a group of unarmed peasants by playing a hit video game called Crusader Kings 2. As Oswald puts it, now these are pampered inbred fops as well, just like in Crusader Kings 2, impressed with enough with you to grind the company into one of their feuds. If you wash your face and ask politely, they should favor you with a profitable contract now and again. You can congratulate yourself. Fantastic. Group masturbation, guys. The company gained renown. Nobles will now give us contracts. Your look on the world map has been updated. And everyone is super fucking happy. Wow, I guess the uh, group masturbation really helped. Fantastic. So... Ah... Wait, barbarians! No! Hold on! Let me tussle with your butthole! Ah, uh, they're dead. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, wait. Is it gonna be nighttime every time we pass by one of these, uh, settlements? Unbelievable. You feel good today, ready to lead the band of degenerates through any challenge to come. You gather the men around, kicking Gerlach the slow to his feet and telling Norman to finish scraping away the hairs on his neck later. When their muttering has subsided, you start to address them. What do you tell the men the company will do? Um, Save up to 7,500 crowns. Train three men to master bow or crossbow and be deadly from afar. We only have the two. No ambition. Um, I mean, I'd love to get another uh, person, but I think we're actually full up on our... Um, fighting stock, right? I think if we get someone else, they'll have to be in reserve or whatever. And I think that could potentially result in them being unhappy or some shit. Then again, we could afford to lose uh, one or two people, I think. Hmm. You know what? Let's go for the uh, Master Bow or Crossbow. Sure. Hopefully that works out, but... Uh-oh. Goblins? Are they running away from me? Gotta say, I'm a little terrified at the prospect of fighting goblins, but... The fact that they're kind of running away- Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I should have dropped by Bilarsby. <laughs> I keep forgetting. It's either it's nighttime when we, um... Pass by one of these places, or I uh, completely forget. No, come back! I need to fight you guys! Ah, fucking assholes. Unbelievable. Just when I want to tussle with these jerks. As a caravan rests, Gebhard Darkhearted takes you by the arm and secretly leads you to the back of one of the uh, wagons. He pulls out his penis and starts um, masturbating furiously. He's super angry, peeking around to make sure that no one is looking. He lifts the lid on the crate. Gems shuck about inside, shimmering sh uh, sharply in what little light there is. He closes the lid. What do you want to do? It's a lot of dosh, sir. Mmm. Probably best to not take the gems for ourselves. Though, depending on how much it is, we could probably end up with better profits, but I think we kind of need to maintain our good reputation now that we're on, um, you know, good terms with the. Or at least we've started being able to accept uh, term or contracts from nobles and whatnot. While pulling inventory duty, Reinhardt the Quick alerts you to a bit of uh, dire news. A good sum of food has gone bad, simple and to the point, you nod and thank him for telling you quickly. They lose ground grains. Oh no. 
We are almost out of provisions. Well, thankfully, we're now in Kaivater, which is now well supplied. Kaivater greets you and with a swarm of day toddlers looking for work, the caravan leader doles out crowns to men here and there, their grubby hands going to the carts to unload the cargo. When he's finished with the throngs of men, the leader turns to you. He's got a satchel in hand. And this is for you, mercenary. You take it. A few of the day toddlers watch the exchange of monies like cats with a dangling mouse. Nice. Okay, so let me... Oh! Look at that! Terrifying nightmares. Uh-oh! Are they suffering from... Alps again? Wait, do we have any food at all? Oh, we have a little bit of bread. Fantastic. Well, let's get the grains. And the amber might actually be worth uh, picking up. Uh, the mushrooms are a little bit more expensive than um, they normally would be, but we'll take it anyways. And what do we want to sell here? I don't know if we need the malicious spears as much anymore. Tree limb we definitely don't need. Mm, Morning star? I guess we can keep the one. Let's sell one of the military picks. Sure. Morning star will keep the one. Short sword. I'm pretty sure the... Wait, let me just look at the stats here. Mm. So it seems that the falchion is probably better than the uh, short sword, though without looking at the abilities that they um, confer, it's kind of hard to tell for sure. Uh, the Akaton caps and the padded circle will get just get rid of for sure. Okay, and I mean I guess we could probably get rid of some of the um, animal bit, uh, parts, but now nah, hold on to it just in case. And no bows to be had here. We're good for ammunition, so we'll pick up the amber and try to sell it somewhere else. Wait, I seem to recall buying amber in these parts before and not finding a good place to sell it. Because Newland also has the uh, Amber people, yes? Where is it? Workshops, Herbalist Grove. Oh, there it is, the Amber Collector. So if you pick it up from Kaivater, then I think the best place to sell it would be Steintorm. Okay. Well then, let's do that. Let's go get a fuck ton of Amber. Go almost broke, and then we'll sell this shit in Kaivater. And in the meantime, let's see what these contracts are about. A dog is snorting at the feet of Ludolf the Younger. He leans forward to gently pet the hound behind the, its ears. I hear you have a nose for finding people, Sellsword, for solving problems. You nod. It is true, after all. Good, good. I have a task for you. A simple one. Something of great value has been t stolen. My crystal skull. Don't tell me you're behind this shitty-ass fucking, um, latest Indiana Jones movie. You prick. Ludolf the Younger, I'll remember your name forever. I need you to track down those who stole it, kill them obviously, and then bring the back, uh, item back. 350 crowns. Mmm. You know what? I guess maybe farming some of the lower level guys might not be the worst idea to uh, level up um, our Swordmaster, right? I'll think some more on it. Let me see what the Noble mission is about. Duke Gunther von Bartholin welcomes you to his room. His table is covered in scrolls, each with drawings of animals and beasts, and possibly even monsters. He's jawing on some berries, spitting juice as he talks. What a degenerate. Locals say there are foul things afoot, uh, though n not a one will give me a proper description as to what it is the trouble. Something about monstrous wolves or eight-legged monsters. I can hardly stand around and do nothing, so that's why I'm requesting your services. Head to the thief of the Bronze Hills far, far away northwest. If you see any bandits, a beast, then slay them where they stand and take their heads. I'll pl uh, pay by the scalp. Uh, he gesticulates with his hands pointing at his fingers as if counting something, but it means nothing to you. Judging from experience, this is good payment for the task. It's 55 crowns per head, you bring back 15 heads at most. So, just doing some quick calculations in my head, it seems that the most we can earn from this is around 750 something, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I mistaken? Uh, 55 times 15. Hmm. 
But then again, if we're up against like dire wolves and whatnot, we don't want to fight too many of them because they're fucking a nightmare to fight, and so are the uh, spiders. Uh, not gonna lie, this one isn't really uh, grabbing me. I mean, I'll accept it. Hunt for dire wolves, web knocks, and oh. Oh, I see. So it's it's open to negotiation. So we can basically just bring back however many we want, or at least that's kind of the impression that I'm getting here. Interesting. I mean, I actually wouldn't fight my uh, mind fighting the uh, very low um, versions of the Noxers, the uh, chimpanzee forms, as I like to call them. Hmm. Maybe we should. I mean, this will be our first noble mission. But you know what? Let me do the other mission first. And then see if we can't get, um, our Swordmaster Transylvanian leveled up first. And then maybe we'll, uh, feel a little bit more confident. Okay, so they're headed up north with a crystal skull. You know what? If it's a DVD copy of the, um, not-so-hit movie Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, you fuckers can just keep that shit. Ah, the thieves are quite human. A simple crew of vagabonds and brigands. They arm themselves as you order your men to attack. Actually, you know what? Let's try to get them out of the woods first. Or we can wait for the uh, first Newland company to... No, no, don't go into the swamp. Don't go into the swamp. No, you dinguses. Can I not? Okay, get out of the swamp. That's right. No, don't stay in there. You'll catch malaria. You fuck nuts. There we go. Okay. Do we want to fight them at night? Considering that they've got poachers and our archers on maybe not so great. Sure, let's do it up. Hopefully we're actually in grassland terrain. Yes, we are. Okay, just looking around. Not a lot of, um... Uh... Not a lot of, uh, open... Or, uh... Uphill stuff. High ground, rather. So, maybe we shouldn't worry about that too much. 6% chance absolutely abysmal but I did kind of like ask for this so kind of my fault isn't it yep Herbert I can't fault you on this one hmm do we let him approach or do we go for it I'd say let's let him approach yeah that's fine Transylvanian I should actually have put Transylvanian next to, in here instead of uh in the very outskirts all right, you guys can wait. Let's not um, be too premature with our spear walling. As a matter of fact, we might even just drop spear walling altogether. I don't think that strategy is going to work out for us uh, anymore. Nice. Okay, buddy. Can you do a split? I mean, if you can hit them from... Oh, I guess it wouldn't really work. Right, right, okay. That's why split wouldn't work. Gotcha. Can you come in closer, sir? I mean, I realize it's a lot to ask, but um, if you could just come in a little bit closer, that'd be great. I'm not going to do anything untowards to you. Just maybe, you know, fondle your um, dead skull just ever so slightly. Ah, and he's hurt Gebhard. Mm, I think I'd actually prefer to take his helmet if we can. Uh, and he's got a shield, so let's just go for the flail. And I'm gonna make sure I actually read the description on these things before I do any of them in the future. Yeah, that's gonna cost us a lot less fatigue. Go for it. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Good job. Transylvanian, just chillax. Needy Ogre. Um, they're still too far to do any spear walling. And I'd say Nut. We do want to preserve his helmet if at all possible. Wait. So decapitate uses 20 fatigue, cost 4 AP, 140 to 120 uh, damage to the head. Oh, depending on how injured the target already is. Oh, interesting. So we should only use decapitate if he's close to death. But that's 40 to... Hmm... Well, his armor's not damaged enough for me to warrant that, I don't think. Alright, well, that was abysmal. 
41% chance to hit these guys. Well, they don't have shield, so... Noise! Holy crap! Fucking headshot, man! That was incredible! Okay. Mmm... 30% chance... Oh, Herbert. Now that I've seen, um, Norman in action, I'm kinda disappointed, Herbert, not gonna lie. Alright, Halstein, move forward. And stab his dick off. a boy. Alright, Gebhard. DEATH! Though it would've been great if that was a Transylvanian's first kill. Okay, let's move forward a little bit so that we don't have a hole in our uh, defenses. Reinhardt, you can move forward a little bit too. Mmm... Philman... Yeah, we're gonna want to um, get to these guys before they hit us with their throwing axes. Niels can't move. Transylvanian, I think this my guy might be our first kill for you. So from here you can do a lunge, but uh, let's not do that just yet. Yeah. Alright, Meteogre. Sure, we'll take you up there. And let's put on uh, Spear Wall. Oswald. Mm. Try to safeguard Mediogre a little bit. I know he's kind of garbage, but, uh, you know. Okay. You don't need to pant so much. I get it. I get it. You're worn out. Wow. Not the target that I thought he would go for. But I guess he was kind of aiming for the uh, low ground. Fair enough. Fantastic. And Philman. Let's try to move you this way. Oh! And he is going straight for Transylvanian's, uh, unwashed nutsack. Ah, uh, well, I guess we kind of expected it, what with the, uh, fencing sword having such low armor uh, penetration and all that stuff. Uh, Oswald, move forward. And start, um, fondling his nutsack, too. Herbert. Ah, that's fine. I mean, I guess we kind of expected it. Uh, all right. Keb hard. What is this? Piss poor performance I'm seeing from you. Unbelievable. Not. Mm, he's nowhere close to death, so let's not worry about that. His armor's completely busted, though, so that's a plus. Alright. Sherlock. Alright, Niels. Hmm. We don't want to damage his helmet, though. Ah, oh, that worked. Nice. And Meteogre, go for it. Reinhardt, can we move you? Yes, we can. Fantastic. And Philman, boy. Alright, Transylvanian. Uh, maybe we can have you go after some of these guys, because you have your lunge ability, right? And I think that's everyone, so far at least. So he's booking it, meaning that we can uh, take out our um, daggers and start uh, jabbing at him. Or we can give him a royal beat-off, like we did the uh, last time when we surrounded the dude and just fisted him in the most sexual of ways. Mm. Okay, well, these guys are just ranged dudes, so I don't think we need to worry too much about them. Norman, let's try to get you to weave through these other guys for now. Fantastic. And, of course, Herbert can't hit those guys because they're too far. Uh, I'd rather we be behind someone with shield. Gerlock, let the uh, boys have their have their fun with that guy. Hey, Gebhard, get your dagger out, shank him, right in the dick. We could just go for a straight up decapitation, I think, but I don't want to risk the damage to the helmet. Fantastic. Dead as Shiatsu. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna use Reinhardt to uh, be a little bit of a tank here. Yeah, I think this might be the safest position right now. Okay, there we go. Alright. Mediogre. He's about to book it. Shank his ass. When you're, you know, good and ready. Otherwise, you guys should surround his uh, dick. And I think that's everyone, yeah? Fantastic. No, don't run away! Come back! I want to sell you my collection of used Bibles. Don't ask me what they were used for. 
you will not want to hear the answer. That is, if you want to buy the uh, Bibles. Otherwise, um, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, then maybe I can tell you exactly what they were used for. Uh, I don't think we can actually catch up to him. I keep forgetting to get that fucking dog. Oh, well. All right, Halstein. Uh, we'll surround him so that uh, Transylvanian can get the adjacency bonus. And Gebhard. Wow, holy shit, look at this guy, book it. Oswald, shank him. Atta boy. Nut. I don't know if there's much we can do with you right now. Same thing with Norman. Okay, Meteogre. Mm, I'm kind of hoping that this guy makes a mistake and uh, stays to try to fight or something. But I highly doubt it. Oh, sorry, Halston, you're um, in uh, the zone of control. Let's not mess that up right now. Ah, he's gone. What an asshole. What an absolute asshole. Mm, Reinhardt, you're going to wait because we're going to let the Transylvanian just completely uh, tear that guy's butthole asunder. Go for it, Transylvanian. Crush, kill, and destroy. Hmm. If we can just get a turn to uh, catch or to get Herbert into a range, we could actually um, probably hit him. But I did kind of choose to uh, fight at night, which I think, which I think kind of helped us out a little bit. But maybe that's just um, you know. Me pretending that I made a right choice here. And yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to him. That's fine. Norman has... L Wait, no, that's just the same level. So he's got some experience points. Nice. And we got some quaffs as well as padded dented nasal helmets. Falchion. A flail. Ooh. Can we give the flail to anyone noteworthy? Well, you found those responsible for uh, stealing the crystal skull and put them to the sword. Now you just need to put the uh, crystal skull back into Ludolf the Younger's hands and get your reward of 300 something buckaronis. Garbage money, but whatever. Ludolf the Younger takes the crystal skull from you, hugging it close as though he'd retrieved the lost child. His eyes get a little teary just looking at his um, DVD of the shitty ass movie Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Thank you, Cell Sword. This means a lot to me. It's the worst movie ever made. It's absolute fucking rubbish. And now the town is gonna die because I'm gonna show them this shitty ass movie. He pauses as you stare at him, not understanding what a DVD is or what a movie is. His eyes bounce to a corner of the room. Uh, I'm from the future. A large wooden chest is opened by a guard. You count the crowns and go. Fantastic. What's this other contract, I wonder? Casimir of Kaivater is found with a pillow in hand. A man at his side is touching his linens, uh, touching its linens before uh, bringing it to his nose. He sniffed it thrice and then shook his head before seeing fit to sniff it again. Casimir of Kaivata weighs you in. A peasant round these parts is reporting that a strange spirit is invading his sleep. He's offered his nightly adornments as evidence, but we know not what to make of them. It's just encrusted with jism. Just we can smell it from the next town over. You look at the uh, strange man who is nose deep in the linens again. You raise an eyebrow and stare, and state that you cannot investigate this matter yourself. Casimir of Kaivata nods. Precisely why I'm glad you're here. I want you to stick around a night or two and to see if anything spooky comes out at night. I'm sure it's nothing, but I'll pay you regardless of what shows. What say you? Does this pique your interest? And maybe if you get bored, you can keep me company in my bed. That's also just encrusted with jizz. A lot of sexual jokes today. <laughs> the strange man is almost clutching into the pillow and drawing in gaping breaths as though suffocating himself. He asks as if he can keep the pillow. Wow, okay. How many crowns can you muster? He opens the palm of his hands. I'm tight on crowns, so before you ask, this is all I have right now. You'll be paid 1,840 crowns when the contract is done. Wow, that's a lot of money. So I'm assuming it's another Alp fight. Mmm... Which I'd be down for, except I'm not going to lie, um, it does terrify me. I feel like we, I feel like I did decently against the Alps the last time, or the first time that, that I fought them, but um, 
Maybe I was just lucky. I don't know. I don't know if I should uh, press my luck. Eh. Wait. We should also replace uh, Reinhardt's um, Pitchfork, shouldn't we? Maybe get him the uh, Warfork instead. Because I believe that is a direct upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. What? Actually... Oh, it's slightly less damage to the armor. Um... Oh no, it's more effective against armor. Oh, less chance of it ignoring armor. But otherwise it uses less fatigue. Oh, sh shit. What am I talking about? This isn't a, um, a pitchfork. It's not a polearm. It's a, uh, it's a spear. But it has a range of two tiles, though. Huh. Well, if I ever pick one up, I should try it out to see if it's, um, what abilities we can uh, get from that thing. Because I don't think we can actually preview the, um, the abilities just from the descriptions, right? No, I don't think so. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. I apologize that we didn't really get around to a tussling too much. Um, but in our next episode, we'll most likely head to Steintorm and see if we can do some more noble missions there that are slightly better than, oh, you get paid 55 bucks for risking your um, genitals and the genitals of your ancestors for fighting a direwolves and uh, giant spiders who are decidedly not Shelob and will definitely not have sex with you. Unbelievable. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!